Welcome to Bartoldi Fountain and Gardens here at the United States Botanic Garden. I'm Deputy Executive Director Dr. Susan Pell and today I'm going to talk to you about tulips and daffodils. Spring here in Washington came quite early and also came with both the tulips and the daffodils blooming at the same time, which is quite unusual. Today what I want to talk to you about is the, the flower structure of these two spring bulb plants. So here we can see a tulip. This is a beautiful purple tulip and it has these outer flower parts, these right here, which technically are called sepals, but because they look just like the petals, which are on the inside here, we call all of them, both the petals and the sepals, tepals botanically. And then inside in the middle there, you can see that kind of star-shaped structure there. That's uh, the female part of the flower that's called uh, the carpal, or the top little part is called the, uh, the stigma, where the pollen can land. And then these structures down here are the um, stamens and the tops of them, the anthers, are shedding their pollen. Now let's go over and look at the daffodils and see how they differ. Once again, not a normal situation for us to have both our daffodils in peak bloom and our tulips as well. And here in this daffodil we can see again those outer parts here and then the inner parts here. We call these tepals because they all look like petals, but they're sepals and petals mixed together, so tepals. Uh, and then right here in the middle we can see that nice sort of um, disc-like thing sticking out. That's again the stigma, the top of that carpal um, where, where pollen can land. And then the little structures around it, these little structures around it um, being the uh, pollen shedding part, the stamens of the flowers. Thanks for joining me today. I look forward to future botanical adventures.